All right. Hello, everybody. And um, I'm here to just throw down a quick tip because I can honestly never remember how to do this. And so this may more or less be a reminder to myself in the future, but hopefully you find it uh, helpful too. And it's about accessing legacy nodes. And I think that like this is pretty boring stuff, but occasionally you'll be going through a tutorial or for some reason you need to use an old version of a node or a node that doesn't exist anymore. And this is a way to get at those nodes. So I'm going to show two methods. One of them is the op unhide. And then the other one is the op add uh, functions. And we access these through the text port. So for our first example, what we're going to do is we're going to try and access the old paint shop. So if you're following along in the tutorial, you might find yourself in a situation where someone's throwing down the old school paint shop and you're trying to do it and you're in Houdini 18 and they've depreciated that node and it's not there anymore. So you might try to do something like this. You know, you're in, you got your grid, you're ready to paint, hit tab and start typing in paint. And then it filters down and you get just this little list. You get your paint attributes, which is more or less the new version of the old school uh, paint node. And if you throw that down, you're painting on it, but it's, it's not the same as the old paint node. So how can we get the old paint node? Well, in our case here, since they actually changed the name of the paint node to be something else, we just need to unhide it. Um, so to do that, I like to open up the uh, text port. So we're gonna just, I'm gonna split my paint over here, uh, left, or I'm gonna split it top bottom. And then in the bottom here, instead of another scene view, I'm going to right click. And uh, this might be different from you if you're not on Houdini 18, but um, I could come down to this misc and then find text port and make this a text port. Um, now, this might seem a little um, unfun to be uh, typing in commands, and I totally get that. Um, it's not my favorite way of doing things either. But to get to the old paint node or to any node, to actually see a list of nodes that you can get using the op unhide command, you just type in op unhide like this and when you hit enter you get this giant list of nodes that have been hidden from the tab menu and so if you scroll through that eventually you want to find a sop node see how this uh, first column here it says op unhide and then whoops it says op unhide and then it says the type of node which is a sop and then it says the name of the node to the right so if we go down here we can see we've got our paint node here. So what we would want to type is op unhide sop paint. So I'm just going to scroll back down to the bottom here, type in op unhide sop, the capital S, and then paint, just like it was up in that list. Hit enter. Now if we go over here and hit our tab menu and type in paint, you can see we get our paint color node. That was the node that was previously hidden. So I click that, throw that in, and then if I go and let's say background color, I'm going to apply black to all and go back to our foreground color, maybe uh, shift drag the size of my uh, paint uh, swatch a little bit bigger. And you can see we are painting with the old school paint shop. So that's the first one. The next situation is where you might find uh, you have a node that's been depreciated, but it's just been replaced by a newer version of that node. So really what's happened is they've just added a, a like a 2.0 version of a node that already exists, but it still has the same name. And the perfect situation uh, for that is the sweep node. The sweep node in Houdini 18 was just versioned up to sweep 2.0. Um, so you won't find sweep in this op unhide list. If we uh, scroll through here, we go up to SOPs and I'm going to PQRS and you can see we got shatter, spring, surface, splat, and then time blend. You, you, we don't have that old uh, sweep node. We don't have a way to access that. This is where the op add function comes in. So suppose you're doing your tutorial. It's using the old school sweep node. You want to follow along exactly. The way you can do that is using op add. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom of our list. And I'm just going to type in op add like so and hit enter and it will give you a list of available operators. Currently, it looks like there are none because you actually have to be in a directory to add the node. This is different. This isn't just adding the node to the list that we have in our tab menu. This is adding the node um, literally into our project. So I'm gonna choose a CD, which is for change directory, and then I'm gonna select the directory that we're in. You can see we're in object here. We're in object grid one. So I'm just gonna say obj slash grid one like that. Now you can see that uh, it has updated our directory and I'm going to type in op add here. And now we get a list of available operators here. You can see all these operators are 
currently used operators and operators that have been depreciated. You can see we've got all sorts of different um, version numbers next to them. Like for, ex for example, MOPS has been upgraded from the Instancer 1.0 to the Instancer 1.1. So different versions of the uh, nodes are in there. But if we go down to say we want to get our version 1.0 version of the sweep, come down and you can see, uh, let's go down. You can see we've got sweep right here and we've got sweep 2.0 now i know for exa for for example i know that this is actually the current version of the, this is the 2.0 version of the sweep you might think okay well i'm gonna go down and type in uh sweep and it will give me the initial version this older version of it um it doesn't have a version 1.0 after it but it's you know we know it's the initial version there so if i go back down here and i just say op add sweep um, you can see that somewhere in our network here, it has added a sweep and you can see it's actually put it right on top of the old grid that we had over there because it considers this position to be like the coordinate, the zero, zero coordinates of our, um, of our network. But so you can see we've added a new sweep here, but it is actually the old, it's still the new version of the sweep. It's not this two, it's the 2.0 version, not the old one. So what we do to, uh, get around that is we just say op add E, so minus E sweep, whoop, like this. And now if we go back up here, you can see we are getting the sweep 1.0 version of the node. You can see it's got different set of inputs here, like so. So what this minus E symbol um, uh, says to us, if I just pull up the documentation for op add, you can see um, it will use the operator type name exactly as it is given. So this will let us determine that, you know, instead of it defaulting to the 2.0 version, because that's what it's set to do, it will fall back to the literal name that we are uh, choosing here. So, so if you look up here, for example, UV layout, we can see UV layout has several versions. Now, if we go in, uh, you, we've got a version 2.0 and a version 3.0, say we wanted to get at that version 2.0 um, one, what we could do is go down to this op add, um, UV layout uh, colon colon 2.0 and it should add the uh, 2.0 version of the UV layout node uh, right here. You can see that if I middle mouse click on uh, this now, it has the uh, UV layout version 2.0 specified here in the info uh, panel. Uh, an alternate version or an alternate method of getting to um, a, a previous version of a SOP is we can do it through also the uh, file menu or the, uh, the preferences. So let's look up here into edit. Let's go to edit preferences and then we're going to go down to shelves and tab menu. I'm going to click on that. And then you can see here that the tab menu operator namespace filtering, um, it's by default, I think this is the default it says show only operators with preferred versions. Um, if we took this to show all operators and then hit accept, for example, if I go over here and hit tab, and then type down the uh, sweep stop. You can see we get the two sweep um, nodes available here. Now, it's not clear to me which one's which. I think maybe the newer one's on the bottom? Let's see. Yeah, it looks like the newer one's on the bottom, at least for this example. Then if I go up there and type sweep again um, and select the top one, you can see that it's uh, it's got the old uh, sets of inputs. Um, if you have a set of nodes and you're not quite sure which one, which version each one is, you can middle mouse click on them. And then you can see here sweep four, this is the SOP sweep uh, version 2.0 here. And if I middle mouse click on this old one, you can see that it's just the sweep node version zero or whatever, it's, it's not versioned. So those are ways that you can get at old nodes. I know that um, I always forget how to do it. So finally, I've made a recording, so I'll never have to forget it again. And hopefully you find this as useful as I do and have an awesome day.